Hey guys, Pablo here and welcome back to another brand new video. In this one, we're going to talk about Land Index, which is a land aggregation platform, land aggregator platform. We have talked about other aggregator platforms, other DeFi aggregators, uh, and we know the concept of these aggregators that they combine different services, different projects, different opportunities in one place to offer convenience to the users so they can have better tools to analyze all those opportunities, all those uh, services. They can compare between those and then they can make a decision on where they want to invest. So the whole purpose of them is, is this. And in this, you know, land index, uh, this is a land aggregator platform, land aggregator company. So what's being offered here is we have many metaverse projects that offer us different games and nfts in those games and in some of those like there's not an influx of those amazing projects but we have in some of those land nfts like in decentraland land or the sandbox in the previous videos i talked about uh statistics of those numbers and different firms and organizations that have put down their investments into buying land nfts um, like a lot of land nfts uh, that was um, i think worth somewhat about like millions of dollars because they have enough resources to investigate and research to get to know about the what, what's going to be the next big thing and if they're putting down their investments right now then definitely this is a clear indication that the results of their investigation was that the land nfts are going to be much more um, profitable in the near future now that we are having the metaverse being developed not just by you know uh, facebook or microsoft but other metaverses on the blockchain so it can be a whole different video if you talk about the significance of the land nfts and what you can do with it and how you can make profit with it but one thing that you need to know is in crypto you don't just lose money if you invest in a wrong project in crypto, you also lose when you lose out on opportunities if you are not being informed, if you are not being made aware of those opportunities. And this is where land index comes in, in terms of land uh, NFTs in uh, metaverse projects. So in this, you're not going to lose out on any investment opportunities regarding the land NFTs. We have all the tools here to analyze different land nfts compare the prices compare the opportunities uh, between different projects and make an informed decision then so the uh, this project as well we're going to take a look at it it's really amazing um the team behind this is really competent really experienced so we're going to talk about all those things in this video make sure that you stay till the end if you have any questions you can ask me either in the comment section if it's going to be on if there's a lot of imposter and bot comments then i may have to turn it off in that case i'll prefer that you guys follow them on social media media you join their discord server so that you can well if you ask them questions they can answer it much better than i can so uh, i would suggest you guys that you do that and do your own investigation and research on every single thing don't land people's words and with this disclaimer out of the way let's move straight to the project now here we are at the official website of land index uh, in this we're going to talk about um, in more details, what Land Index is, what Landex is, what is the difference between these two? Are these the same thing or not? Uh, if they're not the same thing, then what's the difference? We're going to talk about the features uh, that we have that we get from this platform. We're going to talk about the um, Genesis Pass NFT uh, that is being offered from uh, you know Land Index. And moving forth, we're going to talk about different challenges that we have in the metaverse and how Land Index or Land Index, uh, is offering solutions for it. So um, the intro was to develop some background and significance of land ownership uh, or, real or, or virtual real estate. Um, now we're going to talk about you know details. So if you open up this uh, of their platform, their pages, uh, you'll see the listings. Uh, we have the Sarahland, we have NFT Worlds, we have Other Side, we have Somium Space, we have the Sandbox, we have the Wilder World. Now these are the current listings. Uh, you can get details of all these uh, land NFT projects, land ownership projects from their blog, their Medium page, their documents. So you have information about all, all these things and they're adding more and more. They will add more and more. So we will have much more opportunities to invest in newer 
uh, uh, metaverse projects uh, that uh, offer land NFTs. For now, you can see we have Decentraland, one of the most popular uh, land NFT projects. Then we have NFT Worlds, then we have the other side, which I think was recently added, I'm not certain. But uh, this is developed from the team that, uh, you know, launched two of the best selling NFT projects, namely Bored Ape Yacht Club and Mutant Ape Yacht Club. So this is developed from the same team that developed those two best selling NFT projects. Then you have Somium Space, then we have the most popular and well, not most popular, but one of the most popular, the Sandbox and the Wilder World. And again, they will be adding more and more. Now, uh, in this in this page, what you see is the floor prices. You can compare the floor prices and you can uh, see the reasons of these floor prices the average price one day change seven day change and then there's like one month change one day volume and then we have the total volume and items and owners and market cap and so forth uh, this is from this page if you open up any specific like for example if you want to open up the other side which is right here and i also have the the center line open you get a brief introduction of what that project is you can click on show more to get more um what you see here is the volume uh since yesterday you get the floor price again all these things are from yesterday so floor price and the how many owners there are um and then number of owners then sale quantity uh and this is the ape holders so this is you know the project uh the other side so they have the ape token and then the how many transactions there were unique owners and total minted then we get the floor prices in terms of a chart and then we have floor prices chart of different lands so we have alpha land beta land and coral land so you can see the whole page is jam-packed with analytics comparisons life uh, statistics all of these to help you make an informed decision uh, about the project and you can compare them all together like uh, simultaneously with each other uh, the same thing is for the decentral land or any of the other projects that will be added you get all the uh, the volume the floor price owner sale quantity the floor prices in different dates uh, the social media engagement uh, of these projects uh, the monthly sales comparison and uh, then you have different pie charts different other charts in the end you can actually open up their app and you can uh, check it out which is really amazing uh, i was not expecting that but this just shows how well developed this whole platform is and how easily and conveniently we can get information uh, about these projects over here now let's talk about the features that we have in this platform so we already have seen them live in front of us what is being offered but still um, the features that we have here the first one and the most important one is the metaverse land price trackers so in this it helps you in dine index um, they help us navigate and compare and plan around uh, different uh, prices of the lands in different metaverse projects on Ethereum. Currently, there's like lack of these platforms that offer this. This is actually the first one, the first land aggregator. But overall, we have insufficient places where we have all these resources that lets us you know see the prices together and compare between the two so this is one of the things that is being fixed by the land index uh, the other thing that we can do is we have metaverse parcel analytics tools so we can navigate uh, we can list and we can compare all the metaverse parcels uh, lands in the metaverse are called parcels so we can um, we can navigate and we can list them and we can compare them in different prices uh, by ethereum floor prices across all the maps uh, that can be, you know, Decentraland, Land, Sandbox, World Wide Web, and many more that are listed in the Land Index. And then we can, of course, one of the most important ones is we can buy and we can sell Land NFTs. Now, what is the difference between a Land Index and Landex, uh, which a lot of people are maybe confused about? So, to enhance the security and the overall data flow from multiple resources, uh, they created two different databases in two separate websites. So that is Land Index and that is the Landex. Um, Landex is planned to evolve more in uh, as a visualization and mapping platform uh, for various metaverses and Land Index, as the name suggests, uh, it acts as a price index and an analytics uh, tool. Both platforms are maintained by the same experienced team, uh, which uh, are developing it, maintaining it uh, like 24-7. 
So this is the difference between a land index and Landex. Now let's talk about the Genesis Pass NFT and what it has to offer. So Genesis Pass NFT is being offered by the Land Index. This is going to be a one time purchase for you and it'll be a pass for a lifetime. What is being offered in this one is you will be allowed to use the Land Index and also subsidiaries uh, including Landex. Uh, you get early and full access to all the metaverse data, visualization and detailed quarterly reports with a simple MetaMask login. And other than that, this will give you access to a closed Discord uh, channel and mailing service, uh, which will provide you with key notifications and new minting and whitelist uh, opportunities for relevant vetted metaverse projects. So this is being offered by the Genesis Pass NFT. It will be again a lifetime purchase. So you don't need to renew the membership uh, and it will also have a secondary market on OpenSea. And now that we're going to conclude this project, the problems and the challenges that we have in the metaverse is that we are having or we are facing problem in distinguishing different prices of the lands and the reasons why they have different prices. Um, we don't know which location in a map is good is considered cool uh, or whose price is going to increase or where there will be more public because in nan nfts it's not just about buying and selling once you buy them you can place you know make your property uh, you can rent it you can use it for advertisement you can use it for any other service that you want to make um, or you can become a designer uh, which will be one of the main jobs in the metaverse because everyone will be requiring a designer to design a really good looking building or venue and stuff like those so there's a lot of possibilities for you to do in the land um, but you need to know which portion or which parcel is worth what price and where you should buy it uh, why are there different prices in different uh, lands so all these are current problems that we are facing and this is what's being fixed by land index so what we have here we have the floor price comparisons and periodical sales volume by category ac across all major metaverse uh, that includes what we already mentioned these are land sandbox crypto box shell nft worlds and you can see we're having more and more wwwxc uh, and crypto box shells so uh, this this is the first thing that is being offered and then we have heat maps for foot traffic across Decentraland. We have live events map for places to be in Decentraland. And then we have key land holders and demographic info from the metaverse. We have total assets value estimation of pro users. And there are other general challenges in the metaverse for which the land index is offering solutions from we have problem of standardization we have problems of regulation because metaverse is a new in essence in a new technology so there are no proper regulations or protection um, no proper policies or laws and since this is going to be a whole new area with people involved and there will be uh, the estimation is there will be an influx of users uh, there are already an influx of users but there will be more even more than there will be in real life so in that case you need law you need regulations you need policies so that is something that land index is creating has created uh, so there will be you know uh, new regulations to protect everyone that is using the metaverse uh, it takes care of the standardization of the metaverse uh, then there's the problem of the identity management uh, like it's hard to confirm idea in present web 2 apps and with land index metaverse the problem is scaled up uh, as they expand the use of the products and services and then there are problems of security safety and privacy again this is happening because there are going to be a lot of users there's going to be a lot of data that has to be collected that has to be stored then there will be a lot of concerns for privacy for security for safety land index offer uh, features to balance uh, customer safety security privacy and to avoid wealth of metaverse data becoming a critical issue for the future of the metaverse and most importantly customers uh, trust in the metaverse so we have a lot of challenges of course we're going to have more and more challenges but since we have an experience team in the land index um, they are generating solutions for all of those they have generated solutions for all of those and they will be of course making more and more uh, improvements in this there will be more and more listings of different projects in here so i think this is all i have for you guys uh in this video 
you will have access to their blog, their medium page, the documents, so you can get detailed information of all the things that we talked in this video. Uh, and again, as I mentioned before, if you don't know anything, you can either ask me or you can ask them on their social media, join their Discord server so that you can be notified on what happens next. Or if you have any questions, you can ask them there. But this is all I have for you guys in this video and I'll see you guys in the next one shortly. So stay tuned. Disclaimer. Trading digital assets involve significant risk and can result in the loss of your invested capital. You should ensure that you fully understand the risk involved and take into consideration your level of experience, investment objectives, and seek independent financial advice if necessary. It is up to you whether to invest or not.